Psych Board. Welcome to the uh, Borough of Psych Board meeting for November 22nd, 2022. Uh, I'd like to call this meeting to order. We have the entire Psych Board present, town manager, town clerk. Um, let's stand for the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, first, we have the approval of our meeting minutes from November 15th, 2022. Make a motion that we uh, approve the minutes as presented. I'll accept. Second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? One abstain. Yes. <laughs> A whole week since that happened. All right. First public comment. No members of the public are present. Uh, so I will close the first public comment. We have no public hearings. We have no reports of committees, no department reports, no appointments, no unfinished business. Town manager report. We have some reports. The bridge on Diamond Hill is scheduled to be closed for three days during the week of November 28th. From the hours, only the only the hours of 6:30 to 4 p.m. So it'll be closed during that time. It'll be open outside of those times. So again, it's for three days during that week. Several detour signs will be placed to give advance notice to the drivers on our roads. This is approaching Old Sanford um, in Little River Road, approaching Diamond Hill. So it'll say detour ahead. Or there's like. 12 or 13 signs that will be placed. Is that the job that Scott's going to do? That is a yes. Yep. Um, the detour will utilize Old Sanford Road, Cranberry Meadow, and Little River Road. And at the end of this project, the posted limit at the end of the project will go from 5 tons to 20 tons. Tomorrow, a 20,000 gallon frack tank will be delivered to the town hall and they'll be parked in uh, one of the couple parking space up front here. So starting Monday, water will be pumped into that tank and then from the tank we'll go to the sewer district. So once the water is completely removed from our ice skating rink, then they'll be able to start work. Um, they'll be able to move forward. Uh, the, the board approved $20,000 for contingency for the project. That's about the expected budget when it comes to the frack tank delivery, um, removing the water, taking it to the sewer plant. We're pretty pretty close, and uh, we've been in talks with DEP to cover a portion of the project. I don't know the exact amount yet. Um, I think I think it'll be it'll be enough to help keep us on budget. Are there any questions on those two? So that'll be done by next Friday? I believe so. I believe once they get the water out there, they'll be ready to put the tank in. Put the, put the tank, tank in. Yeah. The trick, I guess the thing that could delay it, one thing as they mentioned is just, they're not sure once they start removing the water, how much the recharge is. If they start taking water out, how much water it's something comes back. That comes Infiltration. Back. Yeah. Well, they just keep pumping that in the frack tank while they put the new tank in. That, right. That's all they'll do. Yep. Really, twenty thousand. He said twenty thousand gallons, right? Quite a bit that's of water. That's, 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 water. Yeah, that's, that's a lot coming. more water than is out there. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and you could, you could, Friday. we could see it today. It was like noticeably lower than it was, but yeah. Yeah. gonna rain a couple times. Um, I just want to recognize Sharon Kelly and the Burke for a lifetime committee they picked up I think 15 buckets of sand they had folks sign up during the vote yeah so it's for our seniors to help with uh, slips and trips during uh, the winter time so major kudos to them uh, I've been working with Craig, Craig Burgess from Sebago Technics they are assisting the town with our CDS funding which is also known as the earmark that we received for fiscal year 2022 this is a 3.14 million dollar project the improvements 
that will be designed and constructed are based off of the Malone and McBroom traffic study. And these are primarily the two signalized intersections and the streets and crossings, sidewalks, um, streets. Everything will be put on the ground also at the same time? That, yep, that's the plan. That's the plan. So CMP just got back to us uh, this week, actually, with an underground plan. And we're meeting with Great Falls Construction and CMP next week to coordinate everything. Excellent. To make what, sure the aesthetics are where we want them and to make sure that. What, uh, when does it go out to bid? That's, I'm not, it's too early. But still in that preliminary planning coordination phase. But it'll be next year, 2023? We'll see. For 2023, what's on the docket is you will see the underground pipe crossing Sawmill Hill and, and um, mostly, mostly just Sawmill Hill behind Gateway, Ga Gateway Gas, the second lot there. That'll be 2023. I'm not sure what will be done for 2023 for utilities. That might be more of 2024. 2023, 2024. The CACS project, the, real, the alignment of School Street and Sawmill Hill, that will be 2024. And then the outfall seven projects, probably 2024, 2025. And just la last thing I have is uh, there's some typos that both the Teamsters and the town found in the contract. So we're making sure to get that finalized and I'm hoping to have that ready to go for our next meeting. That completes my report. Any questions for James? Um, I just want to bring something up. Is it now as good a time as is, uh, the Christmas parade? When is it? Let oh, people yes. know. <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head. I know well, it's December third. December third. Okay. Yes. And, uh, it's like yeah. It's one, like one starts day. at one or one thirty or yeah, yeah. one. Um, yeah, I got an email about it because I'll be walking with the Girl Scouts. So. Oh. <laughs> so. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, okay. Terrific. Um, psych board communications. We just have one. It's from Comcast regarding increases to their prices. It appears most of the prices are increasing by a dollar, two, three. Um, nothing ridiculous, you know, their normal prices. But uh, yeah, that's what we got here. And that'll those start um, December 20th, 2022. Uh, the approval of the accounts payable and payroll warrants. Uh, we have the payroll warrant number 33 for November 22nd, 2022, in the amount of $70,934.05. And we have a accounts payable warrant number 35 from November 22nd, 2022, in the amount of $152,480.23. I make a motion that we pay our bills. So I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Terrific. Uh, new business, the approval of the union contract for the main association of police. So we negotiated with the with MAP, the police union. There's a handful of, of changes that have been shared with the board. Um, I, the, this contract, it's my signature on it, so I'll just be looking for approval of the contracts, and that's contracts plural, because it's two. Um, approval of the contract and authorization to sign it. The contract help, gets us on back on the fiscal year, so the first contract's from January 1, 23, to June 30th, 23, and then from the second contract, July 1, 23 to June 30th, 2026. Yes. So 26? Yep. <clears throat> and that contract spans four, four fiscal years. Are there any questions for James about the, the contract? I'll make a motion that we uh, 
approve the contract with the Maine Association of Police as presented. I will second the motion. Any further discussion? Uh, I just make a just make a comment. Is you know is we've been doing this you know some of us for quite a few years now, um, and I have to say this seems to be about the easiest and quickest yeah. Yeah. you know you no know, contract negotiations we've had in quite a long time. Um, I'm glad to see that it's getting us back on the fiscal year, and uh, you know hopefully we approve some things in there that'll uh, keep up police officers in town. You know so. And hopefully everything will work out for us. Can you expand your motion to include authorizing James to sign? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> motion is expanded. My second is also expanded. Thank you. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor? Terrific. We have no quick claim deeds. We have no abatements. There is still no public for a second public comment. We do have an executive session for a discussion of personnel. We will not be making any decisions, so we'll leave and we won't be coming back. Um, are there any, is there any other business or non-agenda items? Holiday Parade, December 3rd. <laughs> be there. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. They and usually are. It'll, yeah. it'll be fun. Um, all right. I'll the, make a motion that we go into executive session under Title One, Subsection Four Hundred Five Six A. Second. All those in favor? All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. We could be out of here by.